Hello, I'm coming to you today from my bedroom because I'm excited to share it with you. So I'm going to be showing some fun pictures of this room throughout this video, but I also wanted to give you a video tour and talk about a few tips for creating a restful bedroom. So first off, I want to give you a little tour. This is a really neat space. It was the third floor attic, and I'm gonna be talking more about that end of the room later. Today, we're gonna to be focusing more on the bed area and what makes for a really restful room. And it has a gorgeous view of the lake. This is our window. Oh, you dying. It's, I die every day, every day I open up that window, those curtains, and I just, I love it. I think I will never ever tire of that view. I'm so thankful for it. So, okay. So I wanted to talk a little bit about what makes a restful space in a bedroom. I personally don't like my bedrooms to be overstyled. I don't have a lot of artwork, things on the walls. I like to keep my nightstands pretty clear to have spots for my tissue boxes and alarm clocks and books that I'm reading and all the stuff. So I feel like you don't need a lot in your bedroom, but I feel like the things that you do bring into your bedroom should be super high quality. And that's what gives it that luxurious and restful feel. So the first thing is having a restful paint color on the walls. So when we first moved into this house, the wall color was this tannish, greenish, yellowish, pukish color. <laughs> and I hated it. I hated it so bad. So once we finally painted it, it made such a huge difference and it felt so much more restful. It just felt like a blank slate. Nothing was offensive as I walked up the stairs and that color wasn't like punching me in the face anymore. The color we used on the walls is Windborn White. It's a color by Pharaoh and Ball. We actually had it color matched to uh, Sherwin-Williams because that's what we have locally and it was cheaper, but Wimborn White, it is a lovely, soft, warm white that I love. I've used it throughout my house. So that's the first thing. The second tip I have is to add curtains. For me, I love curtains and in a bedroom, blackout curtains are an absolute non-negotiable. My husband works in the hospital overnight and so he often sleeps during the day so we have to have blackout curtains. So we have these navy, they're like a velvety feel curtain. They're from Overstock. They are double wide. I, I love these curtains. On the other side, they're blackout and they kind of pull at the bottom and they go all the way to the top. And since they're double wide, when you close them together, it completely blocks out all of the light because there's, there's no gaps and I love these. I love these curtains. Okay, my third tip is to invest in a quality mattress. If you don't have a good mattress, if you are waking up with aches and pains, like please just <laughs> invest in a quality mattress. We did this about 10 years ago. So we've had our current mattress for 10 years and I'm sure we'll have it at least another 10 because we absolutely love it. It is a Tempur-Pedic. It's that memory foam and it's more expensive, but it's lasted so well and we love it. I used to wake up with really achy shoulders and I don't get that anymore. And it's really just been a game changer. Also, we upgraded from a queen to a king. Oh, king beds, you guys. Oh, if you have another person sleeping in your bed, if you got a, a king is really the way to go. If you can fit it and if you can afford it, I would highly recommend it. So invest in a quality mattress. My next tip for creating a restful space is good quality sheets and bedding. So I don't know who can sleep on those polyester sheets, you guys. Have you ever tried to sleep on those? Oh, it's so sweaty and yucky. So I love a 100% cotton sheet. Our sheets are from Pottery Barn. Pottery Barn is my favorite place to buy sheets. I feel like they are 
really good quality. They're a little pricier, but for me, they're 100% worth it. And they just get softer and softer as you wash them. And so I'm a huge fan of Pottery Barn sheets. Another thing that, oh, I love, I love this so much. <laughs> Are you so excited? Okay, this blanket, oh, let me grab it. This blanket, look at it. This is a throw blanket, a big, a big throw blanket. It's kind of furry, furry on one side and like a velour on the other side. I love this blanket. It is from Anthropology. My husband bought it for me for Christmas last year and I, I love it. I'm like a little kid with my blankie, like don't steal my blankie. The kids are always trying to steal it because it's the best blankie in the house. And if I'm feeling very generous, I might let them use it, but mostly I just like to cuddle up with it at night and watch a show in my bed on TV. Speaking of TVs, do you have a TV in your bedroom? Are you yay or nay for TVs in the bedroom? I was always against it our whole marriage for like 20 years. I was like, we cannot have a TV in the bedroom. And then we got one two years ago. You guys, I'd been missing out all this time. I had no idea. I love it now. I love it. I love having a TV in the bedroom. So, and cuddling up after a long day, cuddling up with this blanket and watching a show in bed is just like, mm, it's the best. And that's pretty much it. Like those are my favorite things for the bedroom. I feel like, really less is more and quality is so important over quantity. So those are a few of my favorite things in my bedroom. I would love to hear from you what you found that's created a restful sleep and what's helped your bedroom feel more luxurious. So I'll link some of my favorite things below and have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.